Hey y'all, we're going to test out a Ian Sterling deck. Um, Film Critic is really good in Sterling. And let's see, I still can't figure out if we should keep this. I guess I will just on the off chance that he doesn't ice HQ and we can land the turn one siphon. We really should be looking for a supplier, though. Um, this is probably a rush deck. run R&D. See if he's going to res. The nice thing about playing Wayland is the they often have very little threatening ice. Uh, face checking is quite safe. Hmm. Puts us in a tough economic position. Let's not do it. And instead, let's do Katie Jones. Store three. Data folding. Um leaving ourselves wide open to a sea source scorch here but um, whatever I don't care enough hmm I looked at his archives and it said Fett stops looking at their deck I hope he doesn't think. Oh, let's see if he's got it. Mm, apparently not. So throws out a whole bunch of remotes. Uh, one of these has got to be an agenda, right? One's got to be an atlas. Mm, one is probably a snare. And one is Jackson Howard. So it takes a long time to, there must be some lag here. I do want to pull up this deck list um, and we'll look at it when we have a moment. Melange. Okay, I'm glad we trashed that. So Jackson is one of them. Another one might be an agenda. Um, I'm not like super concerned. Uh, Now we got supplier here. Um, not a lot of good candidates for it. Okay, pad campaign Jackson. So we actually got very lucky on that run and hit just the remote we wanted. 
and he jacksons twice and has a full hand and plays beanstalk. Okay. Uh, I'm not super happy about where we're at here. Jesus Christ, are we going to play Data Dealer just because there's like nothing else to do? Yeah, we are. Data Dealer, the best card ever. Um, so next turn, play Supplier, Host Gang Sign, Host HQ Interface, Draw. This is probably, or no, Katie. It's probably our move. Uh, I feel like we have some setup time here. Titan usually scores out of remotes. Um, we haven't seen like any influence except Jackson. He could be on some fast advance tech. Nope, he's going to try to sneak something here. Maybe. Well, that tells me he's got agendas in HQ, probably, if he's building up a scoring server like that. But I, he's not going to fast advance them out, so that still gives us an opportunity to get some multi-access online. Um, let's store three. Supplier. Post gang sign. Um, I guess the question is, we're not going to be able to install HQ interface if we put it on supplier. So let's draw. And next turn, we'll install gang sign take Katie and install HQ interface. We also might be in a position to pressure his remote though, so I'm not so sure what the better call is there. Like if we can get him to res some ice and then land an account siphon, like we could click one, run the remote, then account siphon. Uh, that might be a good play. I don't know, we'll see. Siphon is not so potent in these Sterling decks where you really don't want to float the tags. Okay, advance, advance. Hostile takeover. Okay, so he probably has another agenda in hand that he was intending to score, but he wanted to get that out of hand. Um, I mean, I'll take a bad pub any day. I think we're in good shape. Let's just keep on the plan. Um, Ooh, drug dealer is going to help us a lot. Let's host HQ interface. Um, we got sterling money coming in. Do we want to keep pumping up Katie or take Katie? I think we want to take Katie. And that means we're going to draw right at the start of their turn. Uh, 
Okay, so he's going all Oak Town on us. Um, he's got some great economy here. Uh, what do we want to do here? I kind of want to land a siphon. I also kind of want to get that. Let's do special order corroder. Install Corroder, run, um, let's see, if he has Archer, how bad is that? We lose our Corroder, we have no other means of doing shit. Yeah, that's actually really bad. We need a Sentry Breaker. Uh, let's run HQ. Caduceus. Okay, so that's gonna fire. We'll spend two to deny him three. Um, our persistent economy is going to be better. Strength four, so we did pump it a little bit. Um, he's probably got stuff in hand. Maybe we should go for this. Or maybe we should just let it, let it end. Yeah, we'll just let it end the run. And then uh, store three on Katie. So he's probably just going to score Oak Town, maybe uh, over advance it. That's all right for us. That was an interesting move. He's trying to up his hand size so that we don't, when he scores it, is that what he's trying to do? I'm not sure if that makes much sense. We see Maramati, and we steal a hostile takeover. He's got a discard here. We really need a Sentry Breaker. Um, we also probably want to get rid of Jackson. So let's run Jackson right off. And post a data folding, draw, and store money on key.
Ugh, damn it. Let's install that data folder. Forger not helping us here. Rex. Run server one. And if he's got Archer, he's going to be fine. So, is this. I'm still we're gonna have six cards in hand. I'm still a little bit worried about sea source scorch scorch. Um, so I'm gonna take money. That means he would have to pump. He needs a trace 17 and doesn't have much left over after. I don't think he's in good shape. Um, yeah, so this is the list. We haven't seen Film Critic, which is a bummer. Uh, do we want a hostage for a Film Critic? What are... The source would be really good. We could hostage for the source. Mm. I really need a century breaker here. I don't think he's going to score out of hand, so what if we hold on to hostage with the intention of Calling in favors, how much would that be? One, two, three. It's a beanstalk. And when I hostage, that'll be even better. So we're going real long game here. When we get another HQI down, it's getting to lockdown scoring point for him. Like he's gonna seriously struggle. Um, I think hostage source is gonna be really strong. Our main thing is we desperately need a sentry breaker. Okay, so we can hold on to hostage source another turn. Is it worth the HQ interface, or do we want to just keep our... I think we want to keep with the econ, actually. Okay, so planned assault means we can land vamp whenever we need it. And... We want double drug dealer. That seems extreme, even for this jank. So forger and same old thing. Okay, we drew into the source. So we're really going to punish him for scoring here. Um, on 
the other end, maybe that's another melange, and it doesn't even matter. I'm going to install HQ interface. Um, so let's see, source, take KD money. That's only two clicks. We can draw once at this point. Does hostage for film critic comma thing. I think we're definitely going to want to draw regardless. Let me see another supplier so that doesn't help. I'll take all those credits and install the source. And we'll call in favors. Still no sentry breaker, which really hurts us. But the fact that we can land vamp on demand is pretty great. Um, we may have misplayed there, I'm not seeing that we had the source out. I think he's screwed up here, right? Like, why does he... Hmm. Am I right? Like, so look, look at the start of his turn. Install, advance, advance, res sand sand. Then he sets himself a click, advances again, and scores.
yeah, so this is an utter mess now. I have to move source back into my hand. Like, he, he ignored the fact that he couldn't score it, and then just added a click, went and advanced it anyways to score it. I think we're set now. Um, okay, so he's quadruple advanced this, which means it's like Orion. Uh, that has all the subtypes, right? I think our play here is a count siphon. So even if he hella boosts his trace here, then he's not going to be able to res stuff on the remote. Um, we have two links. Awesome. We spend one credit to deny him three. Um, and then what is he going to do here? He can't dump everything into it. Just two. Okay. So we can clicklessly clear one tag. I'm still really concerned about sentries on this remote. Plus, we gotta pay the source fee. We could same old siphon again, float all the tags, and run. Vamp would be great here. Yeah, let's do it. Might as well res, this, res that ice, buddy. I can't imagine what it is that you wouldn't want to res it. Um, this is a misplay. I just let him gain the money. Um, okay, so he's just not doing the second sub, I guess. Yeah, that didn't make any sense on his part. Successful run, runability. Uh, I 
Let's take all the money. Okay, so now we have three tags. He has no money. That pad campaign is going to come in. Do we want to steal it and pay three and then turn off our Ian drip? That's probably okay. We'll have to pay through Orion. Um, not a huge deal right now. Plus, if he scores it, we know he's got an Oak Town in hand that we're going to be able to access. I think maybe we go with the, the Econ Denial game and just take out his ad campaign. Next turn he can still score the Atlas though. No, we gotta... Okay. Oh, it's like a firewall or an ice wall or something. Wow. Okay. That's a poor play by him. Um, access it. Okay, so let's steal the atlas first. Trash the sand sand. And then end turn. And unfortunately that turns off our drip, but uh, we're now up on him 34 credits to one. We'll trash pad next turn. Um, if we legwork we see like his entire hand. Oh we don't have legwork though. Okay, so he wisely trashes the same old thing to prevent us from vamp a game again. We have three tags, so it'll take two clicks to remove a couple of them. We can access three cards if we hit HQ. Um, yeah, let's run HQ. Caduceus is really betraying him here. I don't think I've ever seen Caduceus be so bad. It's a good piece of ice, but having two Link to deal with it is just brutal. So, you know, we don't have the right breaker, but we're just blasting through it every time for like one credit. I don't think he's going to spend his last credit trying to get us to end the run. Like, that two link is just crushing him. Um, yep, no point in this. We have two link. And after this, we'll clear the tags. Um, we're hoping to hit the Oak Town he has in his hand. He's in no position to score it. He also had a Jackson. Um, this is un unfortunate that uh, we have information about his hand that we shouldn't. Um, so for instance, I'm really happy that we're, we hit that Jackson there. And we got an Atlas and maybe win the game here. Yep. Wow. And then he leaves. So yeah, um, Ian Sterling wins the day. Auto legwork, and we were in just like super good shape towards the end there. Never saw a Sentry Breaker. 
Um, could have used uh, Overmind. Uh, a little bit of risk not having these be Archer. Um, also, this was a misplay on his part, probably. Whatever that ice was, I can't imagine that it was worthwhile to quadruple advance it and then never res it. Um, I'm really curious about a lot of his ice, actually, because uh, he only ever res that Caduceus, and we were just cruising through it. But anyways, yeah, um, and Sterling, not so bad now that you have these uh, pressure effects. And I really think the source is borderline playable now. Maybe not. Um, it's tough that it gets trashed even after you steal something. If it was like a current, that would be a lot more powerful. Um, but he's a connection, so that helps in the, the Ian Sterling calling in favors deck. Uh, he slows the game down. I think uh, playing that out at the moment when we did was really vital in giving us a chance to get that Atlas. Obviously, like he didn't see it coming because he he misread the card on the table. Um, he didn't he didn't do anything. People don't really play the source, so you can hardly blame the, the opponent for not doing that. Anyways, yep, um, good game. Thanks for watching.